Hey guys, welcome back. It's cold outside. It snowed this morning. We're in the garage. It's indoor adventure project season. So what we're going to work on today is this old dresser. You maybe seen me do a little bit of this stuff before. It's kind of my own style. I like to do a satin black and then a wood finish. What we're going to do is we're going to take all the hardware off this. We're going to paint it uh, satin black and then the top we're going to refinish the old wood. Uh, it's kind of a bourbon barrel effect to me gives it like the charred look where the black is and, and, and has the wood incorporated into it too. It's a look I really like. We're gonna work on this one. Uh, let's get started. So like I said, we're gonna take all the hardware off first. You can see I've already got a couple of them off. Uh, and it's very simple. They just got a screw on the inside, so we'll hold that. We'll get all the hardware off. This is really old. It's solid wood. I mean, this is of course plywood, but it's solid plywood. It's not, you know, pressed uh sawdust or paper crap like that it's all good wood uh, so it'll make us a good dresser <clears throat> take out to the airbnb uh we're just gonna make it look a little nicer or a little more modern i guess okay i got all the hardware off and before i moved on i wanted to show you this look at this thing this is really old because they don't make them like this anymore but look at all the dirt that accumulated behind those that hardware and that's something so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that all wiped off, get everything nice and smooth. It's probably not gonna show because I'm gonna use the same hardware. I'm gonna put it back on there, but I still wanna get that cleaned off. Paint will stick better, everything's gonna look nice. And you know, you have oil on your hands, so all these frequently touched areas could have oil. I'm gonna clean it really good, get it ready so that the paint will stick to it. And then all I'm using to clean this is just some dog dishwashing liquid and some hot water. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I know it's going to work because I do it all the time. It, uh, my thought process is when I was a kid, when I was young, Dawn had a TV commercial and they, it, the advertisement was Dawn takes grease out of your way. Um, I know the first time I got, uh, I had a brand new pair of pants, blue jeans. They were Levi's. It was kind of expensive back then and I spilled transmission fluid all over my jeans and I put Dawn on them, soaked Dawn on it instead of like a shout or something like that. And it took that transmission fluid stain out of my pants. And ever since then, I've been using Dawn for everything. I know Dawn's not paying me to say this, but I'm gonna tag him because it's true. I do, I use it all the time. So there it come off, uh, I'll do the rest of it and then I'll take my chamois and clean that all off. And now I have taken the drawers out and I'm ready to paint the dresser. And then I will, after I get that painted, I'm gonna put the drawers in it and then I'm gonna paint the outside of the drawers cause I don't want to paint all of the inside of the drawers like such. I just want paint, just want paint right around the outside edges and if I put them in there, that'll protect it. I don't want to tape it off. I'm lazy. It's just going in the Airbnb. Uh, it'll look good from the outside. So right now, paint the outside. Okay, there's the first coat. And I want to stress to you, it's pretty chilly inside the garage. I don't have the heat on. So I want to stress to you, when you put these on, do very, very light coats. Uh, do more than one. Just wave it around nice and fast. Get it, some color to it on this side. See, I got kind of heavy up there and I started to see some runs because I, I still had it too heavy. So very, very light coats. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the hardware and what I've chosen is some copper. I really like to look at copper with, so it kind of, so when whiskey's made, it's made in a copper steel and it goes into a wooden barrel with a charred inside. Kind of got the theme going on. It's just something I like. Uh, we're going to paint this hardware now with that copper paint. Okay, there's one coat. And as you can see from this side, uh, I'm going to have to hit these this top. But I'm doing very, very light coats here as well. Because then what I'll do is I'll have to flip that over and get underneath that. So these are going to take a lot of time, but I got plenty of time to do it. There's the first coat now. Not looking too bad. Got my second coat on. I'm pretty happy with it. I went ahead and put some heat to it, moved it up uh letting it dry right now looks pretty good as you can see uh so what i'll do let that get good and hard and then i'm gonna put these drawers in push them up against you know where this is don't want them sticking so i want this to be good and dry get my drawers in then i'll paint my drawers and then we'll 
keep working. Okay, we got our drawers all painted. It's got two coats on it. Uh, it's looking pretty good over here. Got our final coat on. They're nice and copper. Everything's drying pretty well. Uh, so well, it's actually stuck to. <laughs> there we go. That's how that'll look. We'll give it a little more time to dry overnight. Got the heat on. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to let this keep drying. Then tomorrow, we will start sanding on the top. top all sanded down now i'm pretty happy with it i really really just like the look of this i'm thinking this may stay in my house and mine may go out to the airbnb uh but what i'll do now is i'll have to go back i'll clean all the dust off i'll tape it off uh and then i'm going to polyurethane the top I got it taped off as you can see and i got the first coat of polyurethane on i don't know there you go. Light hitting it. You can tell it's got the gloss to it now. Looking pretty good. I'm, I'm in love with it right now. Can't wait to get the hardware on. Before I do that, uh, I'm going to put about two more coats of polyurethane on it. It's going to take some time. Probably take all day for that to dry and, and get the other two coats on. But uh, hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have her done. Okay, I got it all done. The hardware's on. Uh, what I did not do, um, question whether I should have or not. I did not paint the little knobs. Uh, up close, where I'm standing, it's not that big of a deal. But looking at it in the camera, it's pretty noticeable. Uh, but still, I'm pretty happy with it. I think, I don't know. It'd be hard to paint, get them even. They're brass, so they might not even hold paint where these are steel. So overall, that's just something I wanted to point out. Overall, I really like it. Uh, pretty easy project. Did not take that much time and did not take that much money. I got two good coats. It's really more like three coats on here. Still not quite dry. I can just tell it's a little soft, uh, but it's gonna look good after it gets good and hard. But there it is overall. This one's a wrap. We hope you all enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. We've got a lot of projects we're going to work on this winter. We thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one.